I don't trust her. Can we just focus on the meeting, please? Can we focus on not letting a stranger into our business? I understand how you feel. Okay, right. Reagan, like, just talk to me, please. <laughs> we need to get this right. I understand that. We could lose one of our biggest clients. I know. But I do love your pitch. It's really good. Yeah, and most of them are Keisha's ideas. <laughs> she should be in this meeting. I'm not gonna allow a stranger to come into our office. Our company depends on this. Yeah, but I'm just trying to do the right thing. I, I, I know I may have just met her, but... She's my sister, Reagan. It just feels wrong. So, of course, you've had a really, really remarkable career uh, in Hollywood, but this new work is kind of a different turn. Um, let's start with the names for uh, these programs. Lust and Envy. Now, there's something kind of ominous about those words. Well, <laughs> Stephen... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, first of all, I actually started my career in Detroit, uh, WGPR, Channel 62, a long, long time ago, uh, but most people who know me nationally know me from Access Hollywood, where I spent 16 years covering the red carpet uh, and interviewing, you know, all the celebrities uh, in Hollywood. Um, and I started thinking towards the end of that period, what I wanted to do, what I wanted the next or additional chapter to look like. And I knew that I wanted to uh, be a content creator, to produce content. And, you know, as journalists, we're really producers at heart because we've had to, you know, produce our own stories many times coming up the ranks and we had to have a vision for our stories. And so... A friend of mine who worked at Essence Magazine at the time, this was back in 2016, told me about a galley of this book, Lust, that he received. It had not reached store shelves yet. It had just, um, the galley came to his desk and he said, Sean, it's written by author Victoria Christopher Murray. She's writing each of the seven deadly sins. And the first one, Lust, is about to come out, you should call her and option the entire series. And so that's what I did. I knew Victoria, so I called her up and optioned these, uh, these books. Now I'm an executive producer for the first time through Lifetime and I'm, I'm so thrilled. I'm really, really happy. Even though it's 2021, uh, things aren't all fair. Things aren't all equal and it's still tough. Uh, for women in Hollywood and uh, of course for black women in Hollywood to get opportunities to do the kind of work uh, that you're doing. Executive producing uh, is, is kind of the height of uh, yes. work in, in Hollywood and it's, it's still pretty exclusive. Yes, and that's why I love that I have this partnership with Lifetime because um, you know, as a black female, you know, we run into many closed doors here in Hollywood and listen, every sector, but uh, in terms of Hollywood, um, it is very, very tough. And so for this door to be opened and for me to be able to open the doors for other black women, for other women of color, for people of color is really important for me because uh, I know how tough it is. Listen, it's, it's, it's tough for everybody, but equally, um, it, 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 it's, it's extremely, uh, you know, you have to have a lot of perseverance out here. Mm -hmm. So to be a person that is able to create opportunities for other people is, um, it's just a thrill for me. And that's, that's how I want to use my platform and create great movies. You know, at the, at the end of the day, it has to be entertaining. The work that you're doing, uh, what do you, what do you hear from young women about the challenges that they face uh, right now, and and how different that might be from what you faced uh, as a young person here in Detroit? Well, you know, uh, Stephen, right now my uh, foundation is working on a documentary about implicit bias towards Black girls. Um, I'm focusing on the lives of Black girls and how uh, the, the biases that they face every single day coming from the, for, coming from adults, black and white, yeah. that um, are 
are preventing them from achieving their dreams that are you know affecting their self-esteem and their chances for success and how we all as a society suffer when a marginalized group isn't able to reach their fullest potential we all suffer as a society as black females we're used to being pushed to the side so that other people um, you know can, can can rise and we and we need to start focusing on our girls it doesn't take anything away from anybody else but we need to make sure that their needs are being met. 